Okay, so it's been quite a while since um, we spent any time with this Street Fighter tutorial series. And I, I want you to know that um, I'm thinking about you. Um, the, this uh, series has actually drawn more video views. And even um, my more recent videos through a Legend of Zelda tutorial series that I'm currently giving... Um, per week I get more views from these videos that are more than a year old now uh, than I do through um, the views that I get from that very new series. Um, so um, <laughs> I definitely haven't forgotten about this and um, I, I've read that uh, Street Fighter uh, there really isn't like a, a lot of copyright um, enforcement on um, fan-made games. In fact, some fan-made games have actually been, uh, you know, uh, contacted um, by the parent company and, uh, you know, they, they've been brought on to develop the game um, for the company, okay? So, <clears throat> it's, it's quite different than uh, what I'm facing with, uh, possibly, with uh, The Legend of Zelda and Nintendo. Um, but I don't see that happening for for me. <laughs> uh, I doubt uh, I doubt they'll be contacting me to uh, to do anything with this, especially since I don't plan to to make it any more than what it was at that point. Okay, so uh, this is where we were uh, a long time ago. All right. Uh, if if you look at this. Um, it kind of makes you nauseous after a while because the the image is constantly shifting from uh, right to left. Uh, the background is great. You know, we did a really good job with the background and I'm hoping that we could uh, just eventually uh, lift the background up and uh, apply it to our current game, okay? Um, so we're, we're getting rid of this character or at least we're going to refine him and uh, smooth them out quite a bit, okay? And so um, some other things that um, I went ahead and uh, made better was, if you look at this jump and this shadow, this shadow should not leave the ground, okay? But if you look, it does, okay? So there's some, some tricks that, um, um, that I've implemented that have fixed that issue. Um, and then, um, you know, this looks fine. When he's moving, uh, there, there's not a whole lot of uh, issue with uh, the sprites being jittery or anything like that. But it, once he starts to stay still, and look at that, that look how awful that is. He shouldn't slide back when he's punching. He doesn't have that much force. Um, and But this is kind of smooth. He shouldn't be moving, moving at all, but that's kind of all right. But not all right, not all right, okay? So there's a lot of stuff that, um, that we could have improved upon uh, that we just didn't, okay? And... Uh, so what what we want to do is uh, is we want to uh, look at um, where we are going to go. Okay, so I went ahead and started fresh, and uh, this is this is where it currently is. Okay, and if you look, there's no nauseating uh, uh, jitter back and forth with the sprites, um, and uh, now we have an, an AI that follows. Uh, <laughs> when I say AI, uh, very loose. It's just a finite state machine. Um, and uh, basically based on the conditions that Ken uh, is giving, uh, then that Ken is, is exhibiting, uh, then Chun-Li does something based on that. Okay, so that, that's all it is. Um, and she only has one action currently. Basically, she's looking to see if Ken is farther away than some set value. And if he is, uh, she moves towards Ken. All right. Now, 
When I initially started Street Fighter, uh, there was a lot that uh, I was unaware of. Um, now, now that I've actually dove a whole lot deeper into the project, um, you know, it, it is definitely um, more than I expected. So um, I, I think that punch has taken off way too much health. But anyways, uh, that, that's beside the fact. Um, it's just tedious. Street Fighter 2 um, is tedious. Uh, the reason being is that there are so many different boxes and each frame has its own set of boxes. Okay, so uh, the first thing is, is there are um, hit boxes. Okay, so a hit box is basically a box that's doing damage. For Ken, it's going to be this fist right here. There is a, um, a hit box on certain frames around this fist. Right now, there is no hit box here. So if, if Chun-Li was to uh, get near this fist, it wouldn't affect her at all. But on the middle frame of a punch, um, there is a hit box at that, that frame right there. Okay, and then the hitbox goes away as the the arm is, um, you know, retracted. Um, and so, uh, same thing with kicks. The hitbox is not always there, um, but uh, on certain frames it is there. And you need to know relative to Ken's current position where that hitbox is, and it it you know changes um, based on where where Ken is. Uh, so, so doing that for every single frame is very tedious. All right. Um, now the second thing is uh, the second type of box is a hurt box, and there are multiple hurt boxes. Okay, so uh, usually there's three hurt boxes per frame. The first hurt box is defined by uh, the the head area, uh, and then there's another hurt box. Um, that is the, the middle part of the body. And then the third hurt box is uh, towards their feet. Okay, so, um, and these hurt boxes define um, what kind of action the um, character that has been hit takes, okay? If I hit Chun-Li and it gets right here on the face, then her face goes back. Okay, so she kind of makes a, a jerk motion back. And then if I hit her in the body, um, it looks like I've applied so much force that she just kind of like, um, she makes like a V where, where my fist is going through and uh, she kind of, so like that, okay? Now, you may be thinking, this punch is hitting her square in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but the truth is, is there are two hit boxes that are like right on top of each other. And the first one is the head hit box. And the second one is the body hit box that extends a little further out. Okay. Um, and so this punch is hitting that body hit box because it is a little further out than the head hitbox. And so that's why that's happening. But if I were to um, kick her, so I'm gonna punch her out and then I'll kick her, oops, and I'll get her where my, my foot hitbox is hitting her right in the head. And then it's affecting her head. But if I let her come too close, this high kick is gonna actually affect her body. Did it affect her body? Yeah, there it goes. Because the, the hitbox actually hits her body um, when it's actually coming up. So um, so that that's that. Uh, and then you get special moves. Now these, most special moves should do a knockdown and I have not done that as part of um, the the sequence the, that that he take or she takes. Uh, right now she is only computer um, driven. Uh, it's not like a second player, although that wouldn't be very hard. Um, but um, but yeah, 
Um, so there's that other set. Now, there is uh, two, <laughs> this makes it even worse, is that, um, so over here, when I'm facing from the left direction, uh, there's all the, the moves have those, um, those hit boxes. And then here, all the hit boxes and everything get reversed looking in the other direction. Uh, and so basically you have to do all the math of where the hitbox placements are um, twice, okay? And so, but it's nice that I have actually taken the time to understand that. Uh, and so now you, you get, um, and I haven't done all the like hitboxes and hurtboxes for every type of animation, every type of move. And so you're, you're seeing um, some of that. Uh, but, um, and so the animation for the, the forward or the, the, the roll jump uh, going from right to left has not been implemented. So it defaults to the uh, left to right roll jump. Uh, but all that doesn't matter, okay? The, that third type of uh, box is a push box. And that's so that they don't, um, uh, occupy the same area and so um, Chun-Li has a, um, a push box Ken does and so when I'm applying uh, force onto Chun-Li and she's not applying anything back she actually gets moved over um, and so um, it should work the same way if Chun-Li is applying force on me and I'm not pushing it should shift me over. I don't currently have that. And so um, basically what I wanted to do with this video is show you the current uh, progress on the game and show you that I have been thinking about this game and that this tutorial series is still on. In fact, it's on uh, better than ever. Um, and uh, Basically, you're going to be able to take all these principles that you're going to learn uh, through uh, this series and uh, apply it to making your own extra cool, um, you know, uh, fighter uh, type game. And there just aren't a lot of tutorials out there on fighters. There's a lot of um, like sites on how to play Street Fighter extra, you know, the optimally. Okay. Um, but there's just not, and that's where I'm learning a lot of these programming techniques, like the, all the different boxes that you need and stuff like that is by just looking at, uh, what a player is thinking about when they're, they're making these moves and, uh, like s combo, like special move, uh, cancellations. And so I didn't know like a, a low punch during a, a special move, um, or at least I wasn't thinking about it. Would, would cancel that even halfway through the move. Uh, so, uh, you know, you could eventually, you could essentially uh, reach the next state halfway through a current state um, instead of going all the way through. And so I've modified my code uh, to, to handle all those types of situations, or I, I will, okay? Um, and so the last thing I'm going to say is I am making some pretty good progress on this day by day. What I want to do is I want to get through the whole game as I see uh, a finished product being. Uh, so I can fight Chun-Li, uh, she'll fight me. Um, there will be a winner through three rounds and, uh, and that's it, okay? And, and the sounds are there and the special moves and all that. You, as you can see, I do have some, like this one special move that I programmed in, uh, but you know, I, I, wanna have, I wanna have it all for these two characters for three rounds of play. Uh, once I have that, what I'm gonna do is I am going to then uh, take all that material and divide it up into some tutorials and make all the tutorials at one time and then release them all at once, okay? So we don't end up with a situation like last year where I had three tutorials and, uh, 
you know you're you're waiting for the next thing okay um, but if you if you see the quality of this product even though the the background is not there uh, is far superior to what you had last year okay and so um, the more is coming we're going to talk about enemy AI uh, we're going to talk about so much in this um, in this series that uh, you're going to be really grateful uh, <laughs> uh, you're going to be really grateful you followed this series um, and I'm, I'll, I'm also going to um, so I'm, I'm not going to release any tutorials until I have the final product and I've made every tutorial uh, that gets you to the final product and then I'll release them all at once uh, but along the way, just for my own motivation and for to keep other people motivated in the pro uh, project, I will release these little teaser videos of where we currently are and um, what needs to be done. And so I don't foresee too many of these videos being made because, um, you know, there's there's not a lot from this state to a final state other than getting all the moves put in. And then, so that might be uh, one more video where I have a lot more moves um, programmed in. Um, and then th getting the this state machine for this computer AI uh, to do a, a sufficient job in um, fighting the human character, okay? Uh, now, we don't want a perfect uh, AI. I mean, that would... Be, wouldn't be fun uh, but we're gonna have just an acceptable AI okay and so that's that's where the project is and that's where it, I want it to go and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, starting this project again with you and uh, actually completing it this time staying motivated to complete it um, and uh, if if you're interested in this project if you're motivated uh, to to see this thing off the ground, then I encourage you to like, uh, comment, subscribe, um, one or all those things. I I really like subscribe. <laughs> uh, you know I uh, that 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 makes me the happiest. But uh, I, I really enjoy seeing comments from people, uh, encouraging notes. Uh, likes are always uh, are always great. And, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing you uh, in the next video.